What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk a little bit about implicit differentiation and show you some simple examples regarding implicit differentiation. The first thing is going to be find dy over dx, derivative of y with respect to x, if y squared equals to x. How do we do do it so it's going to be derivative of y squared is going to be 2y and since y is a function of x we need to write dy over dx equals to the derivative of x with respect to x is going to be 1 so then we can simplify it and we need to isolate dy over dx it's going to be 1 over 2y that's it. This is the final answer. Next example. Find dy over dx of circle x squared plus y squared equals to 25. And find the slope at the point 3 and negative 4. So here the function is x squared plus y squared equals to 25. So I'm going to say the derivative of x squared with respect to x plus the derivative of y squared with respect to x equals to the derivative of 25 with respect to x. Derivative of x squared with respect to x is going to be 2x. Derivative of y squared with respect to x is going to be 2 times y times dy over dx. And the derivative of 25 with respect to x is going to be 0. Now I need to arrange it and simplify it and isolate dy over dx. That's going to be dy over dx equals to negative 2x over 2y equals to negative x over y and if we want to find a slope at 3 and negative 4 we sub it there is going to be negative 3 over negative 4 which will be 3 over 4 so that's the slope of this function at point 3 and negative 4 Next example, it says find dy over dx if y squared equals to x squared plus sine xy. So what I can say is going to be derivative of y squared with respect to x equals to the derivative of x squared with respect to x plus the derivative of sine xy with respect to x. So derivative of y squared is going to be 2y dy over dx. Derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. And derivative of sine xy is going to be cosine xy times derivative of xy with respect to x. What does that mean? So let me write the same thing here. 2x plus cosine xy. And this part is going to be the, we have the product rule. It's going to be the derivative of x times y plus the x times derivative of y. So it's going to be y plus x dy over dx. That's going to be the derivative of this part. Now we need to rearrange it we're gonna have we're gonna move this dy over dx over on the other side it's gonna be 2y dy over dx minus cosine xy times x dy over dx equals to 2x plus cosine xy times y it's better to put it in brackets 
to separate it from this guy. So then I can factor 2y minus cosine xy dy over dx. And here I have 2x plus y times cosine xy. So dy over dx will be 2x plus y cosine xy divided by 2y minus cosine xy. So that's going to be the final answer. Next example. We have 2x cubed minus 3y squared equals to 8. In this example, you need to find dy over dx or y prime and also the second derivative which is shown by d2y dx squared or y double prime. So let's see how to do it. So what we need to do, we need to find out the derivative is going to be 6x squared minus 6y dy over dx equals to derivative of 8 which is 0. So it's going to be 6x squared minus a factor 6x squared minus y dy over dx equals to 0. So x squared minus y dy over dx is 0. So dy over dx will be x squared over y. Now we need to find out the second derivative. d2y over dx squared, which is going to be the derivative of x squared over y. So that's going to be 2xy minus x squared y prime divided by y squared. When you separate them, it's going to be 2xy over y squared minus x squared y prime divided by y squared. And then we need to simplify it. It's going to be y and one of these y's cancel out. It's going to be 2x over y minus x squared over y squared times y prime, which is x squared over y. So that's going to be 2x over y minus x to the power of 4 divided by y to the power of 3. Next example. We need to find dy over dx given that x cubed plus y and y y cubed plus y squared minus 5y minus x squared equals to negative 4. So we need to find out the derivative. It means that derivative of y cubed with respect to x plus the derivative of y squared with respect to x minus the derivative of 5y with respect to x minus derivative of x squared with respect to x equals to derivative of negative 4 with respect to x. So the first one is going to be 3y squared dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx minus 5 dy over dx minus derivative of x squared is going to be 2x derivative of negative 4 is going to be 0 so then what I can do I can factor dy over dx here 3y squared plus 2y minus 5 equals to 2x I move this one to the right hand side so dy over dx will be 2x over 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. That's going to be the final answer. Here in this example, it says find the equation of tangent line to the graph of x squared plus 4y squared equals to 4 at the point root 2 and negative 1 over root 2. 
So we need to find out the derivative of this function first. It's going to be derivative of x squared with respect to x, derivative of 4y squared with respect to x, equals to derivative of 4 with respect to x. That's going to be 2x plus 8y dy over dx, and derivative of 4 with respect to x is 0. So we're going to have dy over dx equals to negative 2x over 8y or negative x over 4y. So if we want to find out the slope, we just need to sub these two numbers. It's going to be m will be negative root 2 divided by 4 negative 1 over root 2, which will be negative root 2 negative 4 over root 2, which is going to be negative 2 over negative 4, and that's 1 over 2. If we want to write down the equation of tangent line, we can say y equals to y naught plus m times x minus x naught. So y equals to y naught is given negative 1 over root 2 plus m 1 over 2 times x minus root 2. So that's the equation to tangent line. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.